Hey, everyone. We are live at the Pace Studios right now in New York with Marco Benevento. Marco, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Everybody, thank you for being here. This is outstanding. I think uh, we've been trying to make this happen since literally the inception of the studio. It's been around for four years. We've been trying to make it happen. We've been talking with Kevin about it for quite some time, and uh, here we are. Nice. Good yeah. work. I'm glad we can make it happen. Yeah, dude. Um, so congratulations to you are in order because Let It Slide is coming out on Friday. Uh, it's coming out on Royal Potato Family, and we're going to hear yeah. some music. Yeah. Royal Potato Family Select. Royal Select. Can you tell us what's coming up first today? Sure. We're going to play um, the single that just came out called Send It On A Rocket. thought that would be a good place to start. All right. Let's just do it. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Suddenly I, oh I, I woke up late, wonder why the light could be on. Oh my head hurt, and suddenly so was the lack of air and no refer. Fourth of July, the rain, the river Suddenly I was guessing It wasn't like Topo Chico They came for I felt the room was so empty oh. all the same one such a lonely number wonder why the light could be on calling on the sun blame it on the sound send it on a
right. Thank you. Uh, Marco, can we talk a little bit about the uh, the production process of this album? It sounds like there's more uh, of other people's sonic fingerprints on this than there have been in the past with your projects. Uh, can you trace the lineage from Richard to Leon and what, what they brought to the table for this project? Absolutely. Um, yeah, we made a record with Richard Swift in 2013. <clears throat> and then... Or 2014, and we remained friends for a while. Uh, and the record that we made with Swift, Apple is called Swift. Um, I enjoy that record oh, a lot. Thank you <laughs> for the record; it's good. Uh, and it yeah, we remained friends. We'd go to Oregon and even play in a little town that he lived in, Cottage Grove. And he would like come and do sound, or like come bring us drums, or just like hang out. And and uh, and uh, when. Uh, the Ark Stan Arbex project went on tour in 2016. Leon was about to, uh, Leon, who's also in that band, was about to have his third kid. So he had to miss like the last week of that tour. So Richard, who's also in that band, recommended that I sub for him. So I met Leon on that tour. I met Dan and knew the other guys from other stuff. But uh, is Leon finished having children? I feel like three is just enough. <laughs> I think three is enough. I think he is done. Yeah. Four is too many children, yeah. but three is a happy family. Um, I'm sorry, continue. Yeah, and uh, so that's when I met Leon, and I knew everybody in that band. I knew their music, but I didn't know um, Leon's music, so I checked out all of his stuff and quickly was blown away by everything he made. So I thought maybe we could collaborate on a on an album, and we. I planted the seed, you know, and then a year later we were tracking in Queens um, at Diamond Mine. And we did, you know, five days in Queens or something like that. And then we did the rest upstate because uh, Leon moved upstate to near where I live. He lives in, in Rhinecliff. And did you I guys work at the, uh, where did you guys record the Woodstock sessions? It was Apple something? At, yeah, we did a live record at Applehead, which is in, in Woodstock. Did but that play any part in, no, in no, this no. record? No, 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 that was a separate thing. No, we didn't, we just did all our home studios. Like, we worked at Leon's place in Rhinecliff, and we worked at my place uh, in Woodstock. And But we did, like, the five tracking days in Queens. And uh, it was basically just Leon and Nick and myself tracking um and then we did we had Karina come in and sing and had some other I guess that's pretty and, and then we had our friend Brad Barr come and play guitar on that one instrumental that's on the record. But for the most part it's it's just the three of us. It's Leon, Nick and myself. Is but, that exactly how Brad Barr is credited in the liner notes? Brad Barr came and played guitar? Right. I hope. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, working. I'm enjoying it very much, and uh, hopefully everyone who's watching right now, we've got a good good crowd watching this. Uh, hopefully everybody checks out Let It Slide. It comes out Friday. Congratulations yeah. again to you guys. It comes out Friday. There's three singles that are out now. Um, what, are we, what are we hearing next today? I was thinking about doing Let It Slide, which is the first single that we, we put out um, back in June. Cheers. You guys ready for it? Should we just do it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> See how this is going to work. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, wait, oh, wait. oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're ready. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready. <laughs> you ready, Pace? <laughs> hey! Let it slide I want it to stay and tell you goodnight And drink champagne by the candlelight But you know I don't know why I can't explain The things inside your body move into your brain Let it slide Let it slide You can't let go, just let it slide 
I'll just stay into the end of the night Cause the walls, they move in the candlelight You got a way I can't explain, gonna let it slide I got a white canvas, but I need more time Don't talk, don't talk, and please don't talk Talk about and at least a long walk Taking the breeze, I want ease the talk, talk Talk about on her knees, she don't talk Talk about every reason, not one Just count them and see, and the reason why I know Just one of the reasons that there is no In the darkest light You gotta drop it, babe It'll keep you up all night Let it slide Let it slide Cause all the thoughts you can't let go Just let it slide Let it slide Let it slide Let it slide Thank you, guys. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> if I had written that song, I also would have titled it Let It Slide. That is an apt name for that song. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying the album very much, dude. Again, congratulations. If you, the internet, are joining us right now, the album comes out on Friday. Um, and so the arrangement that you guys are playing here today in this in this tape library what how does this mm -hmm. differ or compare to what people see when so that uh, you're at buffalo ironworks october 10th and then everywhere including music hall of williamsburg in brooklyn on october 24th and uh Dude, there's a date in Japan. It doesn't seem like there's that much travel time in between. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I don't on know. November yeah. 2nd. And, We're going to uh, go to Japan for a week and then come back and just continue our tour Midwest. Is it truly a week? Dude, when I looked at the internet just now, it seemed like you had about two days to get there and two days to get back. <laughs> All right. Four days for us is like a week. Feels like a week. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this arrangement sounds great. Thank you for arranging this way for oh, us yeah. in this environment. What do people see when they see the uh, the live show across the United States and in Japan this fall? More white. More white. No. <laughs> I was gonna tell. Yeah, I was gonna say that there's <laughs> no. not enough uh, white. It's basically costuming. the same. It's louder. It's more stuff around. Uh, but yeah, it's basically the same. Uh, piano, drums, and bass. Uh, yeah, it's basically the same. Well, I, don't know. I can't think of anything that's different. He's got the top, I think. Drums right here. Well, he's got drums right there. Yeah. It's, We'd uh, be standing, you know. Well, not you. Well, I'd right. be standing. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm just talking about myself. Yeah. <laughs> the We'd entire time out. you stand up, you don't ever take a break to sit down? No, I never sit. Sitting is horrendous. Except for right now. It's great right now. But, you know, yeah. These guys sit, I stand. Well, it sounds great here. It will sound great on the road. Um, I also wanted to talk about the uh, the tape machine involved in the production of the album and uh, gaff taping piano strings. That oh, I've yeah. never heard of that before. I just read that about this album. Can you talk about some of the weird mm -hmm. shit that you guys did? Totally. Um, we were recording that song specifically, Let It Slide, and um, you know everything was like really tight and really punchy, and the piano sound just was too piano-y or something for me like it, the, the character of the piano didn't sound right to me in that environment so uh live before uh, when we when we've toured um like there's a couple of songs where i could reach into the piano and actually mute the strings with my hand and i've done that a bunch of times so i thought uh i could get that effect and instead of um using one hand to mute the strings in the studio which only left me to use one hand on the piano i just was like oh i'll put gaff tape on the 
piano to sort of act as like a muted palm thing. And I, I just put gaff tape on the piano and unbeknownst to everyone else, they didn't even know. And I just did it. And they're like, what'd you do to the piano? It sounds so much better. And I was like, oh, I just put gaff tape on it. And they're like, yeah. like, they're like, what do you call that? I was like, I don't know, gaff tape on the piano? And they're like, no, it's Gaffiano. And so <laughs> they just kept on calling me Gaffiano the whole session. And then that led to these three instrumental sort of Gaffiano interludes that are on the record of the sort of taped piano, which sounds like a sort of cross between a Japanese Japanese instrument and, and a harp or something. You know and, the symbol uh, for Gaffiano? It's like a squiggly line on a on a staff above the treble clef. <laughs> that's good I like that yeah there's no Gaffiano symbol someone someone light up the Gaffiano symbol we need his help <laughs> um, and the, the tape machine also um, I the Benson Echo Rec did I say that right yeah I'd not heard of that before uh, just now can you talk about the the role that that guy played in the sonic fingerprint of the whole album yeah that's a super rare Italian uh, delay that uses this like metal disc, super rare, super hard to fix. That's it's called a Gaffiano, isn't it? I think. <laughs> yeah, it's called a Gaffiano. Gaffianissimo. <laughs> exactly. It's a Gaffiano delay. Now, uh, we used it on everything. Basically, we ran the piano, the drums. We we ran everything through that that tape machine or the uh, the the tape delay. But um, we uh, we use this. They have they use a lot of tape at Diamond Mine at, at their studio in Queens, and we ran we recorded everything to uh, an eight track tape machine and then bounced it or no we recorded it to a two track tape machine and then bounced it to an eight track to add more. Oh, they go super analog over there to get the the warmth and the the effect of tape on which is you know an effect for sure. Like you can hear it definitely on our record. It's like a saturated sort of vintagey sound already even though it's brand new but uh but yeah we used a bunch of there and then we on, in the final process we basically bounced everything to a four track recorder his old four track recorder we put like it was like vocals on track one keys to bass and drums and we bounced everything to a t like a cassette and then put it back in the computer and then uh ma ma mixed and mastered it um which is why we and this is the first record we first album that we've made uh, tapes cassettes of and to me that that sounds the best the the tape medium that we made. Do you have any with you today? Um, I might that, have one in my bag. That yeah, I'll give Nakamichi you one. machine right over your left shoulder sounds outstanding. It's a nice uh, nice cassette oh, player. Nice. Oh, nice. So you if you want to give us free stuff, we will certainly awesome. take it. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you guys had that experience. It seems like the the signal flow and the chain is in good hands. You know exactly what you're doing, and uh, it sounds outstanding. I'm enjoying it. Thank Album you. comes out on Friday, and we're going to hear uh, more music now, right? Totally. We're going to do um, a track that we haven't put out yet. I mean, it'll come out on Friday, but this is uh, this is a song called Oh Baby Can't You See. Right. <laughs> and it goes like this. It's kind of a party number. Like this. Yeah. 
All right. Man, that sounds great. Thank you for doing that. Uh, the comment section is stoked. Pe- the internet is partying right now. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Guys, before, I check the internet. We're before famous. we sign off, can we introduce everybody? Absolutely. You are listening to the wonderful, magnificent, and explosive Karina Reichman on bass. Hey. Explosive. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. A rock steady, strong, and ready. Dave Butler on the drums, DB on the drums. Right. Solid. All right. Solid. Well, dude, and thank you so much for sharing the music with us today. The album uh, Let It Slide comes out on Friday, and you've got a bunch of tour dates. All of them are up at marcobenevento.com. Uh, Buffalo on October 10th, home of. Uh, Chicken and Ani DeFranco. <laughs> and then Music Hall of Williamsburg happens on October 24th. And you're everywhere, including Japan, on November 2nd. Um, and enjoy all of them. Please travel safely and best of luck on the record. Thank you guys. Thank you so Thank much you. for having us. Oh, yeah.